I'd like to demonstrate the Stamp Perfect Quick Positioning Kit. The kit comes just like this. It's got two pieces of magnetic tape cut at a 45 on each end so you can make a little frame to cradle your work and a hand stamp with a point in it which will give you the idea of the center of your mark of each character that you're going to be stamping on your piece of jewelry. To use it, we're going to load the center point into the Stamp Perfect machine and the magnetic tape, as you can see, it will it'll hold on to the steel anvil plate at the bottom of the machine. It doesn't matter if it overhangs onto the uh, other portion of the base, it's, it's aluminum and it's not magnetic, so it won't, it won't affect your moving uh, your part across uh, as you slide it to the next character. What I like to do is get a uh, get my tag, whatever I'm going to be marking, whether it's a tag or jewelry, and I'd like to try to, with the point, find the center of the of the tag. Once I find the center of the tag, I, I hold firm on the handle, just come down and meet it so it stays there and you can see I've got enough pressure on there that it doesn't move the tag. Then what I want to do is put my tape in line with it, push it up against it because it's going to make a little wall for it to come up and slide against. I'm going to recheck my, my center and for this particular one, I got some holes here that I can try to center on. That's good. That's pretty good. Then my other piece with the 45, go up there and just kind of make a frame. Now I can piece, put piece after piece in the same position and it'll, it'll stay there. And I, I have it all lined up. I know my center points and it's ready to mark. What I also like to do, just in, as a precaution, is put a little piece of tape on the part to mark. It's also going to grab onto the, the anvil plate and the quick positioning tape. And that's going to allow it to go back and forth across and this is not going to move. For the demonstration here, we'll put Mary on this just to show you how it's we can make this in a straight line very quickly. Move it to the next marking position. As you can see, I'm straight across the tag. Each one of them is the same depth, and they're very close as far as spacing, and the look of it is very nice. Now what you can also do with the quick positioning tape is mark little charms on a radius, and we'll have a nice, even radius all the way around. They won't be jaggered and going up and down like, like you might do if you try to spot them by hand. The way we're going to do this, again, we're going to put our, our centering point in, and we're going to put our jewelry on the table. Try to, and I always line my table up to the center point, and for marking on a, a radius here, I like to put a piece of tape on there to keep the, keep the table from sliding on me. If you have a piece of scrap that you already know what your center of the character is where you can spot it real quick that's nice but you can also do it just by uh, a plain piece and coming down and, and hitting center on that too. We're going to do the same thing that we did with the straight line. We're going to bring our magnetic tape to our part instead of trying to put the tape on first. We're holding pressure down on this so our, our piece won't move and we're going to make a little V. And you know for you can spend some time with this and make this absolutely perfect but I'll tell you it's going to it's going to look nice it doesn't matter if it matches here or meets as long as you have the same on both sides. Once you get that position and you know what your center character is you remove the center point 
And again, I like to put a little piece of tape on the magnetic tape and the base. As you can see, I've got the tape, the base, or the anvil and the base all covered with my tape. So everything is nice and firm and straight. For this one, let's mark Nancy on it. We're going to come down, get the first one, put the second stamp in, and now we're going to revolve. What I always like to do is just be able to see the previously marked stamp impression. I like to see the whole impression get pretty close to the side of the stamp where I'm going to hit the next one. That's going to give me a nice, nice spacing right on around. And that's what you want to do is get a nice impression and evenly spaced. You can also, uh, you know, just for for fun, sometimes just put some little hearts around here. I'm going to show you how you can go all the way around this. I'm not going to be as careful with spacing as I am just making sure you can see that it marks all the way around. And you can see as I'm marking, I'm trying to get this to where it's as close as I can get it to even. And as you can see, with a little more time to set up and positioning, we can get that to where it's, it's just perfect radius all the way around there. And that way you can do something along the line of, of these type items that we've made before, some little mother's rings along with uh, some little uh, symbols. And we make all kinds of symbols as well here at, at SteelStamps.com. But it's a really quick, easy way to do this. It's a repetitive way, and it sure takes the, the time out of stamping. Get yours today.